Elon Musk. Dogecoin versus Bitcoin. Is there going to be an epic battle that's about to take place? What is going to happen as the two crypto giants face off? 1v1, like Shaq versus Kobe, who is going to win? Only time will tell, but we can look at some of the stats, at some of the numbers, get the information, and we can figure out exactly what we want to see when it comes to this. Elon Musk basically putting out some messages. He could be about to get Tesla to sell their Bitcoin. What would they then buy with that Bitcoin? Well, it could in fact be Dogecoin. Full disclosure, I own Bitcoin and I'm still holding it. I still believe in Bitcoin for the long term, but Dogecoin right now just has so much more potential. And I believe Elon Musk is going to do everything in his power to make Dogecoin not just the cryptocurrency of Earth. He is going to attempt to make it the currency of Earth, period. So there's so many things to be optimistic about here. So many things to talk about as well as BTC down 7%. Dogecoin has fallen some as well. Lesser than a lot of the other cryptocurrencies when it comes to the drop. Also the fact that it was up a little bit at this exact 24 hour period ago. So the drop looks a little bit more. Really, Dogecoin is actually staying mostly steady around that area where it's been at. Elon Musk playing a huge role in that. Working with the Dogecoin devs, you can see that's the chart of Dogecoin right now. As everyone starts to come into the chat, welcome. Welcome to the one, the only place where you can see Dogecoin content, Bitcoin content, all of them together and get an honest take on it. You don't got to worry about bias or anything like that. So come join the channel, come subscribe and have some fun with us. Let's go ahead and take a look at the big Elon tweet. There we go. That's Elon Musk. That's Bitcoin right now. Oh no, what's he doing? What's going on, Elon? What's the deal with that? Ben says, I cannot wait until Bitcoin has a big enough market cap that tweet from Elon can't take it. He single-handedly dumped BTC to 45k twice this week. Oh well, buy an opportunity. And I, of course, commented under that. Yes, yes, Ben, it's a buying opportunity for Doge. Getting that a bunch of likes. So thank you. Shout out to everyone who's been pressing like on those types of things. It really does help with spreading our message. Mal Matt Walsh Elliot on Twitter. As long as all of us are participating there, retweeting, liking, doing all that stuff, it will help and make it better. Still holding my Bitcoin, by the way. I'm, I want to be clear about that. And I did say that on that comment there. As we continue to watch and see what is Elon going to do next, it's exciting. Let's take a look at some of his tweets and what they mean for the future of Dogecoin, the future of cryptocurrency altogether. As Jack comes in with a chat, bro, some of these Bitcoin trolls are vicious. They loved Elon a few weeks ago, but now they are just acting jealous like exes. Elon and I were having fun joking around. <laughs> just imagine me saying that. Elon, yeah, just me, you know, just Matt Wallace and, you know, the most influential person in the entire world. Just just joking around on Twitter. No no big deal. No big deal. We're just having fun. But we actually are, though. I, 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 it, makes me, it makes me happy to know that I made Elon Musk laugh with my comments. He, he posted a laughing emoji. I don't know if you saw that, the video from earlier today. But so I, I commented basically about that exact same thing, and Elon Musk responded here. Let me go ahead and screenshot this so I can make it bigger and you can see it. Because that's the problem with eyes. See, you know what? Let me actually let me actually roast eyes. Where's my roast music? Let me go ahead and play my roast music here. It's time to roast eyes. We're gonna go ahead and get to this roast right away. And it is of course about the one, the only eyes. What are they doing? Why can't they see things better? They need to be able to see things much, much, much better than they are currently right now. So let me go ahead and get the roast music out. And we are going to get straight into the roast. Eyes, what are you doing here? Why can't you see the screen even when it's small? Why do I have to make it bigger? Retina, more like something bad enough because we don't know what's going on with those things. Do you need some contacts or some glasses like these? Perhaps you do. These are just blue light blocking glasses. These don't help with vision at all, but maybe everyone just needs to go buy some extra zoom in glasses to compensate for the fact that eyes, they're terrible. They're awful. They should be better. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? But there we go. That's the roast of eyes. <laughs> eyes. They need. They need to get their act together, don't they? But so this is the this is the tweet. Elon Musk makes Bitcoin go up 400 billion in market cap with Tesla accepting that, changing the entire game for crypto forever. Elon Musk makes Bitcoin go down 100 billion in market cap with Tesla no longer accepting it. And then the Bitcoin Maxi saying, so reckless. I can't believe Elon Musk did that to BTC. How could he do that? How could he? He was the one who made it go up in the first place. How can you be mad at the guy? And now you're the ones who are constantly attacking Doge. You don't got to do that. Dogecoin people, most of us own some, some Bitcoin. We like Bitcoin. You don't have to make a riff there. We can have fun together. But at the same time, I mean, Dogecoin may go down and be replaced by Bitcoin. 
Other way around. Bitcoin may go down and be replaced by Dogecoin with Elon Musk trying very, very hard to make that happen. So just be aware. We've been saying Dogecoin can't be the cryptocurrency of Earth. Now Elon has every intention to not only make that the case through his companies, he's also going to be working extremely hard, making it faster, making it easier to use. So many big things are coming. Everyone should be very, very excited right now as I read a couple of these chats. Can we get these BTC holders to sell and join the Doge family? Honestly, if I own more BTC, I would sell it right now and buy Dogecoin with it. I don't own enough that it's really worth it to sell. I'm still going to hold on to mine. I think I have like a few thousand dollars in it. So not really not anything too crazy. And I'm holding it because I, I like Bitcoin. I want to do well. But yeah, I, I, I completely agree. <laughs> Let me read this chat as well. Hey, Matt, I sent you a DM on Twitter. Great idea slash special request. Thank you for all you do. Interesting from Jill. Let me go. I'll take a picture of that. And I will, of course, check it after the show. And I, I will see what your tweet has to say. What your DM. Maybe we got some good stuff coming in from Jill. Thank you for the chat as well. You have blessed me with your blessings. God bless you, Matt. God bless you as well, David. Who's Can Candace who? Candace is in the chat. Candace who? That's interesting. Apparently, there's a Candace in the chat. I don't know which Candace you're referring to, but if there's someone famous here, hello. We have famous people watching the show all the time, so shout out to all the fans. Oh, that sounded, that sounded so... <laughs> I, I, don't, I didn't mean it like that. We, we, we just have... The channel's been growing a lot. It's the, it's, it's the way it is. You know, you start having a lot of people watching. Some of them are just going to be famous, like Jason Derulo, Funny Mike. A lot of big names are watching the show, and it's an honor. It really is, because that means we can help to make Dogecoin go bigger. The bigger celebrities we have watching us and, and participating in the community, the more Dogecoin is going to go to the moon. We have Keemstar. We have other YouTubers watching as well, so it's just exciting to see that. Hopefully, Elon Musk, too. I mean, he did he did respond to one of our tweets, so maybe he's watching. I hope he is. I think he may be, he may be watching right now. Elon, if you're watching, <laughs> that's all I have to say. <laughs> I love you, Elon. But look, yeah, Elon responding to that with the laughing emoji, which was just, it, that was a lot of fun. That, that was a lot of fun. Coming soon, sorry for the delay, huh? I, I'm not sure what that tweet is, but you know, let's go ahead and take a look at that because Elon's been tweeting other stuff too, some big updates that he's been talking about. So that was one tweet there. Then he also tweeted, coming soon, sorry for the delay when it comes to UFC, uh, who is that? Oh, I see, Tesla delivery. Oh, someone was asking for a Tesla in the UFC. <laughs> I guess they didn't get their Tesla fast enough. Then Elon says he should wear an outfit for Halloween, but with Bitcoin tattooed high on thighs. So Elon Musk, he's not giving up fully on Bitcoin yet. Yes, he's probably going to switch over to Dogecoin. Yes, he may sell the Bitcoin, but I think he could be teasing that. They don't need to sell their Bitcoin. They can keep their Bitcoin and also buy Dogecoin too. I think that would be the most optimal situation there. There's no need to sell BTC. We respect the BTC. We do. Hey, Matt, say hi to Elon for me from Jason. Jason, Elon, Jason says hi Elon, you want to, you want to say if you want to say hi to Jason, <laughs> Jason Poole. But yeah, there we go, there we go. I did it for you, Jason. But I mean, yeah, the Do the Dogecoin one would obviously be, be better, of course. But you know, the Bitcoin costume, hey, why not? There's there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Let's, let's also take a look at this. Bitcoin's proof of work architecture creates seven layers of security and serves as the foundation for the, the for the world's first and greatest digital monetary network. There's no more efficient technology for converting energy into prosperity, and that is in fact false. There's a number of reasons why that's false. So the first one is that yes, technically it's hard it's hard to hack, but that doesn't really it's not harder to hack than Dogecoin. Dogecoin and Bitcoin are significantly better than the current systems when it comes to that. They're already way better. And there's really not that big of a difference. Yes, Bitcoin, I believe, is slightly more secure than Dogecoin, but it's not enough of a difference to matter. And Elon Musk is working very hard to make Dogecoin even better. So that's one thing. But when you look at the fees to actually spend it, Bitcoin can really only be used as a store of value. And I love it as a store of value. I do. But that's not, that doesn't mean it needs to be the currency of Earth. Dogecoin is way better as a currency, and it's only going to get even better from there. So that comment, a little bit off. Elon Musk, I don't know why he's just fine under that. But you know, it is what it is. Then this one. Oh, this is the one. Peter Mick obnoxious and yes he is obnoxious this dude peter let me read what he had to say because i mean it, it was pretty dang bad like like the the level the level of of not understanding i don't know if you can actually read this here but i'm gonna go ahead and read his full thing dear elon musk the perfect troll is one where people don't know whether it's a troll or not your recently poorly informed criticism of bitcoin plus support of doge when did he criticize bitcoin doesn't even make any sense he didn't do that Support for Doge may be the perfect troll, or you might actually believe in this. God, I hope not. So clueless. 
Why? What do you mean? Why? Why wouldn't he believe in it? The one with the best community, the one that's the best for transactions, is getting even better. The one with low fees, the one that's competitive, the one that's number five in the entire world right now, going back and forth between four and five with with Cardano. You mean that one? Okay, sure. Two. Whether you believe it's whether you believe it or not, it's irrelevant right now. The implications are in play, and there are two specific ones I want to discuss. Doge investors are going to get wrecked. You are increasing the workload of Bitcoiners. I am not the smartest Bitcoiner, but I will do my best. You can say that again. <laughs> you're, you're not the smartest. That's just that's just the truth. Three, Doge is a meme. It's a joke. It's just a joke, according to Peter. Has no real developers. Oh, you mean like Ross? Oh, you mean like the entire team behind it with over 40 different people that have come in and out of the project at different points in time? 12 people that work continuously on it? Ross is streaming every single day? The lack of knowledge here. It's just obnoxious. It is. And some people will say, well, Matt, you criticize some coins too. And yes, that's true. Sometimes I'll criticize coins, but I never really fully criticize them like this. I'll do my research first and I'll, I'll point out specific things I don't like about them, but I'll never say in general that this coin is terrible or this coin deserves to go down. I'll never say anything along these lines. They're just so off and out of place. I like other coins. I want them to do to do cool things, but I just am capable of seeing sometimes things I gotta, I gotta, I mean, everyone, we're all, we're all capable of seeing it. I just have the ability to call it out with this platform. I'm going to do that if I see things going on that are shady. But decentralization is key. It is being meaningfully decentralized, which ensures that Bitcoin is robust, hard to change, and away from the government control. It is this which gives us censorship slash seizure resistant money, which can't be inflated. Yes, that is true, but a stable inflation rate of 5 billion a year is basically the same thing as not inflating that at all, especially when you consider the fact that Elon Musk may start mining it at a large scale, potentially even with supercomputer networks or something like that. After an integration with the Dogecoin devs, he's working on that right now. He's already left hints about the LMRC satellites. And that was my pinned, my pinned video was the LMRC satellite at the time when Elon Musk responded to the tweet. I have a feeling he probably looked at the account. He probably watched that video. He's probably already seen it in the past. He knows. He's, he's, uh, he understands. And he didn't, in, in a way, him responding is kind of like him, him basically signaling to us, yes, he's paying attention. He sees what we're doing. And that's just fantastic to see because... Keep in mind, that was just a random tweet. He gets hundreds of tweets per day. So he must have probably checked our account, looked at it, and then seen it and given us the laughing emoji. Just fantastic. We love to see it. And so Peter saying, I have been fortunate to talk to all the smartest people in the industry. In 2017, Bitcoin went through a civil battle over these specific issues and Bitcoin won. The market spoke and every forecast failed and failed miserably. And keep in mind, some of the things he's saying are actually good points. He's right that Bitcoin is a great currency in term or not. Uh, it's a great, a great cryptocurrency in terms of its ability to be used as a store of value. It's a great cryptocurrency. That name, I mean, yes, we shouldn't. The name is kind of misleading, right? Because it's not really a currency per se, but we'll just call it that for now. Whatever. You know, you know what I mean? Bitcoin as a currency, it is good. It's way better than the systems we have now. And so there's a lot of reasons why Peter is right. He's not, he's not that far off here where he's far off is just a comparison between doge and bitcoin that's where really he's having a mistake here when the rug pulls and it will pull according to peter doge bag holders will be holding nothing but a bag full of dog pool they will lose the money and many will have invested because they have not had the time to do the hard work and they will believe you the bigger issue though is in regards to what you're doing to bid the bitcoin ecosystem this is temporary but many have dismantled similar bollocks, I included, you are increasing the workload for Bitcoiners, your personal goals appear to be focused on the projects for humanity, clean energy supplies, reducing carbon emissions, and the second home on Mars, in case we make this planet unlivable. I, I ad-libbed a little bit there because I don't want to say, I can't say bad words, technically, unfortunately, YouTube won't let me, and also, it's just kind of off-brand. We want to be fun, family-friendly here. Dogecoin is something that kids can invest in, adults can invest in, family-friendly show. So bring, bring your kids on board. Don't worry. They can watch the show and you don't have to worry about that if you want to bring them on and they can learn more about crypto. Teachers, you can show us this show in class too if you want to. I assume you've heard of the Lightning Network. The entire ecosystem El Salvador uses there. Offering instant virtually free final settlement is a far superior technology than any other faster cryptocurrency. I mean, yeah, he, he just went on and on. I mean, so the rest of the stuff is, I think... Just kind of silly, but the main important part of this. So yes, he's he's been getting a ton of DMs from people, basically just slamming him on all the false things he said, calling Dogecoin a joke, a meme currency. When in reality, it was founded off of Litecoin. The only part of Dogecoin that was a joke is just simply the the dog on it, the brand of it, and we love that part of it. The fact that it's a joke is one of the reasons it's such a good currency. 
because people like this refused to invest in it because it had a dog on it, even though it was a great currency. And so that has led to very, very little concentration at the top. Almost all of the ones at the top are exchanges, yet we have people like Sheldon Evans who are either unintentionally or intentionally potentially trying to mislead people. Sheldon Evans tweeting out that the top 100 watts decided not to sell today or something along those lines. Why would they can't? They're exchanges. The people own it through that. We already exposed Robinhood, which is by far the biggest one. And once that one's exposed, the rest of them are so tiny in comparison. That's not really even something you can really argue. I mean, it's not even close. But Elon responded under this obnoxious threats like this make me want to go all in on Doge. You'd love to see it. Elon coming in with that. And then I comes under that. And we have the top comment under Elon's tweet. Which I just think that's so cool. I mean, it's so weird. I mean, imagine, imagine being a fan of Elon for so long and... Uh, Elon had no idea who you were, and now we have this entire community. He knows he knows us now. He knows who the Dogecoin community is. He's having fun with this. It's just so cool. I mean, I, I still can't get over how awesome it is. This tweet, I mean, it's nice, but it doesn't deserve that many likes. The only reason it gets that many likes is because the community is like, all right, let's let's help Matt push these messages, and we all work together on that. It's a beautiful thing. It really is. You can see one of the best parts about seeing Dogecoin become the currency of Earth. I'll go and zoom in on it so you can see it. Eyes, we may have to roast them again. One of the best parts of seeing Dogecoin become the currency of Earth will be seeing the looks on the faces of uneducated people like this who write threads like that. And that is so true. All the people who have been doubting and continuing to do so, they're going to be very, very, very surprised. And they're going to have that FOMO feeling, the fear of missing out. And they're going to continue to have that all the way until Dogecoin goes to the moon, literally, then to Mars after that and becomes a currency that's widely used across the globe and is capable of changing the entire global financial system. So, so many big things coming with that. And yet we still have some salty haters. It's just the way it is. Don't worry. We have a voice now. We were, we were at a point before where we didn't really have that voice. Now, through Matt Wallace LA on Twitter, through this YouTube channel, we have a voice as a community. And we can call things out when we need to. And we can roast people and eyes too. People and eyes. We can roast both of them when they deserve it. Bitcoin tumbles after Musk implies Tesla may sell cryptocurrency. Yes, he did imply that. I honestly don't think. I mean, maybe he will. If he does sell, it's going to be to buy Dogecoin, most likely, but there's no guarantee he will sell. I mean, he's kind of teasing it now. I just don't think there's a high chance. This person said, Mr. Whale, Bitcoiners are going to slap themselves the next quarter when they find out Tesla dumped the rest of their Bitcoin holdings with the amount of hate Elon Musk is getting. I wouldn't blame them. I wouldn't blame him. I mean, they wouldn't blame Elon for doing that. And Elon Musk says, indeed. So he's teasing it. He's basically teasing the idea of going in and selling that Bitcoin, what would he buy with it? I think it's pretty obvious. We know the answer to that. What would Tesla buy? Keep in mind too, Elon Musk owns 22% approximately of Tesla. So it does take more than just him to make those decisions, but he does have such a big influence. He's the largest shareholder by far. So he can make things happen. He has connections there. Obviously he hired a lot of the people there. He has that ability to change things, but just keep in mind, he can't do 100% of it without other people agreeing, but he, he can make those other people agree relatively easily. So that's just one thing to consider this one is well coming out this week in crypto musk's environmental move doge millionaires and then market blood battle and so basically what we're seeing with that and if, if you ever see me mispronounce a word i'm probably just trying to be careful not to make youtube upset in the monetized video and so i'm just overly careful with that i mean i can probably almost certainly say that word but i'm not gonna risk it why risk it because then youtube will stop recommending this video to people and we don't want that can you block the people that keep spamming about shiba you know what? Yeah, if they keep spanning, I'll block them. I will block them. I don't know. I mean, maybe maybe some drama in the comment section isn't too bad, though. It makes it more fun. <laughs> but yeah, if they're spamming, though, we got to block them. Maybe I got to add a moderator. You know what? That sounds like a good idea to do. Also, we have Fort, Fortnite Rare coming in. Doge Father will be behind Dogecoin. It's a token you want to check out at the final stand. Dogecoin, what is that? I've never... Is it is it a cryptocurrency? Does it have a dog on it, perhaps? Was it created by Billy Marcus? I don't know anything about it. Does it by any chance have five billion years that can be mined? Yeah, please tell me. What, what is Dogecoin? I'm actually a little bit curious about that. It sounds interesting. Maybe I'll have to check it out after the show <laughs> with my eyes, which have already been roasted. I feel like my eyes are just going to shut off. They're going to say, you roasted us. You know what? We're not letting you look at Dogecoin. Come on, eyes. I just want to look at Dogecoin. How much Bitcoin comes from dirty coal? A flooded mine in China just spotlighted this issue. And there's two parts to this. The first one is you're going to see banks and other people in institutional power trying to convince you that Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is somehow bad for the environment, when in reality, it's so much better than the current systems that's not even close to close. The entire city of Las Vegas, one tiny area of land in a massive sea of the world, 
Just Las Vegas, that's about the amount of energy that Bitcoin takes up. And that's for the entire world right now. Yes, it'll get more as we see more people doing it, but also that will be counteracted by the fact that there's less mining going on and it's being used more and more as a store of value rather than being transacted, which there's still some transactions happening now. But that will go down as more and more we get closer to that no mining part with Bitcoin. But yeah, so a mine was flooded and... Uh, Basically, the real the, the second part of this is that China, we're unbelievably reliant on them. And I don't trust a government that doesn't give their people freedom. There's two things you can do as a government. Either you can give your people freedom or you cannot. I guess there's also in-betweens too. There's in-betweens too. But those are really the, the on, on the most high levels. I think it's safe to say, we can all agree, China needs to give their people more freedom. And so a country that doesn't give their people freedom, why would we want to rely on them for mining? I would love to see more of that moving over. I believe only 5% or so of Bitcoin is currently going through the US and most of it's in China. So with that much being shut down, Dogecoin, I think, is going to be an, a viable opportunity here because a lot of that is coming from America because of the meme factor. This is why it's such a beautiful thing. It's the perfect design. Because it's a joke, people around the world who don't understand the joke and are in on it have not been taking that seriously, meaning we're seeing more countries that give people more freedom, mining it at a higher level. So it's more centralized in those countries, but still, just, still decentralized altogether with a lot of individuals mining. And so you have that, you combine it with the five billion a year, all of that stuff, it's just a perfect design. And it wasn't intentionally made with all of those perfect design features. Some of them just happened to work out extremely well. Billy Marcus told me himself that his plan for a lot of this was just kind of coincidence, but it worked out so well. Fate, it loves irony so much. Irony and fate, Satan in a tree, go G-O, I N G U P. <laughs> I don't know. That wasn't. That probably wasn't very good. I tried. Come on, give me a break. I'm just an innocent YouTuber here. Crypto.com really does stake Doge. It's official. Yes, that's awesome. People have been talking about that a lot. That's so cool. Geez, how low can Bitcoin go? It's scary if you're holding large amounts of Bitcoin. It's definitely scary right now. What's happening with it? It can go lower. There's no question about that. It can go significantly lower. And I'm gonna go ahead and kind of show you a little bit here what we could potentially be about to see with that. We are seeing some some bigs, and also, now this is just silly. I mean, we saw the Motley Fool coming out. Is Theta Token the next Ethereum or Dogecoin? So they wrote that article. Then they also wrote one that was more pro Dogecoin here. Doge millionaires. I mean, I don't know. Like, it's just the Motley Fool is all over the place. I don't trust them at all when it comes to crypto. They know a thing or two about stocks, but crypto, they don't know what they're talking about. They got a lot of clueless people there. But we're also seeing, I mean, it's just its just funny the way that works. But let me let me go ahead and show you the Bitcoin price right now. We can pull up the Bitcoin price. We can take a look-see. Bitcoin, here we go. So here, here's the Bitcoin price at 43000 now. You can see it's gone down a significant amount. This is by far the biggest drop that we've seen in a few-day period um, over the last week. And technically, if you look back a few weeks, you can see a bigger drop. But it's still, it's still I mean, look at that. Look at the size of that drop. It's pretty, it's pretty dang big. We'll go and pull. So we'll go to one month. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes this doesn't like to work. It's not a big fan of working, just like guys. <laughs> just like guys. But let me go ahead and. So we'll go, we'll go to the one month or the three month chart. You, okay, there we go. That's. A, oh, come on. You know, I'm just going to screenshot it once I get there. That's that's the only way to do it, I guess. Screenshot it. Ah. All right, so we'll figure it out. The, the, the thing with the new iPad is you got you to gotta then learn all the new stuff. But okay, so here we go. We did it. Finally, Matt accomplished it. Hopefully that deserves a press of the like, right? Of course, we accomplished the impossible. The impossible. You can see this, this is what Bitcoin has done. And it's not the first time we've seen drops of that size, but it is a pretty dang big drop. It could potentially go down to around that 30 something thousand dollar area. I think at that point it would likely bounce off. We do know it still has support. A lot of that though was from Elon. And so if Elon's switching to Doge, which it seems like he is, then we'll see Dogecoin getting a lot of this energy. And it's going to take some time. Right now, Dogecoin still has a lot of negative pull on it from Bitcoin going down. But that will change once we see Tesla accepting Dogecoin, potentially on 6-9. That's what they were looking for. And hoping for but anyway all the good stuff to talk about make sure you're pressing like come subscribe to the channel come join have fun with us this is the place to be for content about dogecoin other cryptocurrency i'm matt Wass. this is final stand and i will see you in the next video